Hey y'all, this is video number two. Um, this is a uh, a uh, recipe I found on uh, Facebook. It's a uh, it's called a loaded baked potato dip. And um, the the neat thing of it is, or the weird thing, the odd thing that everybody found is there are no potatoes in this dip, none whatsoever. The potato part comes when you dip your tater chip corn chip whatever into the dip that is the potato part of the uh, baked potato dip so we're gonna get started on this all right for this what we need is it calls for eight slices of bacon I don't know about your house but here in this house we don't eat just eight slices of bacon so I still have everything out from the last video I swear that's the best cheese bowl I've ever had in my life. All right, we got this bacon. What I should have done on the last one that I didn't is cut this up. I will on this one. Well, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I should have done on the last one is taking this bacon, cutting the strips before I cooked it because we're not serving whole strips of bacon. We're going to process this up. All right. Now we're going to take this over, get you guys back up where you can see. And I'm starting to get this warm back up. This same grease I used a few minutes ago. Hadn't courted it off yet. I tell you, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. There's nothing that sounds better or smells better than the smell of bacon frying. Alright, you guys are back where you can see this recipe is pretty simple, it's just a few ingredients. Uh, you use any type of cheese that you like, and this one I'm going to use some uh, pizza cheese, mozzarella cheddar, different things. It calls for 16 ounces of sour cream. This is an open container of sour cream, so there's going to be a little bit more than 16 ounces, but that's okay. that wide open because I'm going to use all that cheese. Like I said, I got this recipe off of Facebook, so I'm going to check my recipe here real quick again. Uh, make sure I got it right. In fact, it's not on that one, it's on this one. Yeah, it calls for sour cream, uh, cheese, two cups, some bacon, some chives, or green onions sliced, uh, we're not going to do that. I may put some regular onion in there, and salt, pepper, and cayenne to taste. Well, I just have to have an onion. I'm going to get you all over here if we can see again. I might as well be halfway sanitary. There we are. And we'll chop this up. 
I just peel off. I may not use this whole onion, I may just use half of it. You just have to see what it looks like. That might be enough right there. I'm going to use about that much of it. This right here is a strong onion. I guarantee you. Yeah, this calls for a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of salt, salt in there. There's a little bit to clean up. This is this cracked pepper. And And right now, there's not much going any further until the bacon gets done, so I'll bring it back when the bacon's done. All right, y'all, I brought you back. I wasn't going to show this, but there ought to be something against the law about not getting to see bacon fry. In fact, if I can put this into slow-mo here in a little bit, I'm going to slow mo it. Oh, don't that look good. In the words of the old Cajun chef, Justin Wilson, don't that look pretty? Okay, y'all, the bacon's done. I was on the food processor and break it up, but it, uh, I drained it off, and that's cut up pretty good right there. So I'm going to add a pound of bacon in there. It only calls for six or eight slices rather eight slices i don't think that's enough personally <laughs> we'll give that a stir let's just see how this tastes Needs a lot more salt. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. All that up. All right, 
Let's see how this is. Oh yeah, much better. What I'm gonna do is put this in a bowl, wrap it in foil or a saran wrap if I don't have a proper lid, and then I'll chill in the ice box and bail together the uh, super bowls tomorrow. But that right there, I'll be a winner. Talk to you later.